if you're him and you're a wide receiver and everybody's starting to clown you because of that, what are you what are you thinking? Well, you got at, at some point in time you got to pick a play where you go back at that guy, you know, and um, you know, fist the cuffs may occur. I don't encourage fighting, you know, in, in National Football League, but at, like I said, it, they're in training camp. You know, it's winding down and getting close to regular season. Guys' tempers flare, especially when you see a different different color, different emblem on that helmet, you know. And uh, my, my advice to Terrell is always be ready when you're dealing with them defensive backs. Always be ready and prepared to box. Did you like those joint practices back in your day? Or did you guys do them as much? They seem like they do them a lot. Um, if you dig deep in the archives, you'll find the Philadelphia uh, – you'll, you'll, you'll find we did a, a, a scrimmage. With uh, I was with the Atlanta Falcons, and Buddy Ryan and Jerry Glanville were great friends, and an all-out brawl broke out, and it was so it it was so much of a brawl where it had to be televised. It was all on CNN, ESPN, you name it. Guys got hands broke, guys got fingers broke, uh, guys got literally stumped, you know. And I got I got a couple stitches on my eye. Uh, rest in peace, Andre Waters stuck me with a good one. I was helping a teammate. And I was hitting the hitting the guy to get him off my teammate, and looked up and got got socked in the eye, and you know I never forgot that one. But um, it's a point in time where you got to stand up for your teammates and uh, and show that you do have their back because football, everybody knows, National Football League is no joke. Um, there's only one sport uh, that can compare to the physicality of, it, and that's the UFC. 